Hello everyone and welcome to Rome 2 Total War. My name is Mr. Brunswick and today we have a massive 4v4 siege and is getting underway right now. This was actually quite a fun battle to play in what CA calls the city of Athens. This is a very small Athens, but uh, it is Athens nonetheless. <laughs> We've got a very strange mix up here, but uh, some strong factions in play, which is really cool. We've got two Roman players, obviously. We always need Romans. Romans are easily one of the best factions, if not the best faction. I might be biased. If not the best faction in the game, they are bringing lots of heavy infantry, some cavalry, legionary cavalry, lots of veteran legionnaires who are very good in close combat better than their regular legionnaire counterparts these men have been on multiple campaigns and they fight in a sense that uh, they're newer less trained well not less trained but less experienced counterparts can't and uh plenty of legionnaires regular legionnaires coming up on the frontier they even brought a tortoise to knock down some walls lots of principes same with the other player Lots of Principes, Hestati, some lighter infantry, and mostly heavy infantry. They're bringing their A-game. Lots of artillery as well. We've got a, a Roman Scorpion and some Onagers there. So, these Roman players came looking to knock down some walls and kill some people within. And of course, they have an ally, which is Galatia. Galatian units are also incredibly tough. Galatian legionnaires... I'm pretty sure they brought some of those. Naked swords are also really friggin' tough. Yeah, Galatian legionnaires. These guys are no joke. They fight very well and tear through light infantry. And they are on the move. Plenty of archers. Mercenary Syrian archers. Those guys have so much armor. Some eastern giant ballista and a whole bunch of siege equipment from uh, Nabati. With armored desert hoplites, or hoplites, I should say. Axe warriors. I've never seen these units. I'm assuming that this is a DLC faction. Probably Eastern Empires. Um, which I've looked at for a while, but I've never really felt the need to get or play as them. Because, you know, I like Greece and Rome. And, of course, the mighty defense. All the way in the left flank here. Defending the entirety of the left flank is Macedon. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm wrong. <laughs> is, is the Swebby. Swabby, which is played by our good friend Nico, all powerful. Lots of longbow hunters. I know I saw some, yeah, some berserkers who are no joke, sword masters, some spears, all good units. Um, more berserkers, wow. Nico went all out. Macedon with some hoplites. Macedon, oh man, their units are so good at defending. They're so good at unit defense. Once they lock shields, if they're holding a choke point, they're going to hold it for a long time. Macedon is controlled by T-Rex with a shotgun. Oh, fuck. Trying to get past that. He has some foot companions. The mighty foot companions. And, uh... <clears throat> lots of militia hoplites on the wall to slow down the enemy. And, uh, over here we have pixelated Apollo, who is playing as Parthia. Uh, he's got some <laughs> some elephants. God, I, I hate these elephants, and you will find out later in the video why. Uh, he has a bunch of reserves of mercenary hoplites. These men are looking to make money, and they will kill doing so. Lots of uh, his own archers, Parthian light foot archers, who uh, actually, if I remember correctly, do more damage than their late game counterparts. I'm not entirely sure why. I think it's a trade off for armor. And uh, some Persian hoplites, some Parthian swordsmen, some more Parthian swordsmen. All, all decent units. They're not the best in melee. Their armor is a little lighter. They don't fight as well as their uh, Western counterparts or other heavier factions, but they will hold the line. <clears throat> and of course, myself playing as Lusitania for my Beria. I've got my Lusitanian uh, nobles. I've got lots of. <clears throat> oh, I've got another unit of nobles. And uh, we've got some veteran shield warriors, who I came to really respect during this battle. These guys fight so well, and it's not even funny. It is not even funny. What is wrong with that man back there? You see him? You see that dude? 
Okay, his face renders in when I get close enough. His eyeballs are popping out. Oh, God. These guys have seen some shit, man. So lots of veteran, uh, uh, um, what the hell are they called? Veteran shield warriors for me. And I brought some Iberian slingers. I, I really almost always rather use archers. I know slingers can be quite good if on the flank or if they attack from a side. But I just, I will always prefer archers. I feel like they do so much better. And some more veteran shield warriors. Something that I do, especially when I play with three other factions, is I take uh, heavier units so I can plug up holes. I'm going to go ahead and press play and get this underway. So, uh, the, the classic go-to for Apollo and I. <laughs> we have our uh, cavalry outside the walls looking to probe the enemy. I've got some Scutari cavalry and he has some eastern cataphracts. Cataphracts are frightening to go against. Those guys are really tough. But see, the Roman player isn't dumb. He is not dumb. He has a whole bunch of uh, cavalry here in reserve waiting. A bunch of legionary cavalry. This general, just in case they need to be reinforced. And all his archers here as well. He knows what we're known for. <laughs> so he's prepared for that. So uh, there's not really much we can do. So all these armies are slowly moving up, making their advances. <clears throat> Nabati is actually closest to getting on the walls. It looks like the ballista... I don't remember the ballista being on the towers. I wonder if that's a new thing. Like, over the past few months, because I, I never knew that that was a thing with the ballistas on top of the siege towers. But those ballistas, look at that. Look how many men they've already killed. These militia hoplites have gotten shot to shit. Look at that. That guy just got murdered. <laughs> by, by these, uh, by the, uh, not ballista, I'm sorry, scorpions. There's scorpions. I don't know why I always call them Ballista, but here they are, and they're going to be opening up with some Nabataean Axe Warriors and some Desert Levy. Desert Levy. You don't look very tough. But the point is to get a uh, get a foothold. These men are just looking to get a foothold. Look at that. The rest of the Swebby down here cheering, looking for a battle. Oh, and these berserkers lining the walls. Look at these guys. They are ready. They're ready to rock and roll. This whole city is defended by some interesting factions. And being attacked by some interesting factions, but berserkers will always be a frightful enemy. And here they come. The first wave. The first wave. Coming in and over the wall. This thin line of berserkers. They're already getting into it. I I love, you know, some people are like, ah, oh, there's so few units in a berserker, or so few men in a berserker unit, but they fight so well, and it's cool to see such a small number against a numerically superior force, and they're still coming out on top. Look at these two. Look at these guys, just going at it. Just going at it. Ah, oh, so good. And of course, these uh, these gates are being attacked by Nabati. They're, they're spreading out a lot. This is a good thing uh, uh, by the attackers here. Look at that, these berserkers have already broken these Nabataean swordsmen. But over here on this wall, uh, it looks like... Macedon's militia hoplites got routed. Where'd they go? Where'd they go? Did they die to the last man? And a breach made over here. I'm sorry, I missed that. Breach made over here by uh, Galatia's um, <clears throat> ballista. But unfortunately, they're not going to be able to go through here because these buildings are outside the walls. Like every city that has these buildings, this wall is inaccessible. And even though it looks like he could run right through there, he's not going to be able to. So, unfortunately, that is a waste of a lot of rounds by the attackers. And that's not really their fault. That's more of a map issue. So, uh, over here, Apollo and I have pulled in our cavalry. We are still looking for another target. Uh, we decided that that was just too risky. Pushing up there was such a small target. Some legionaries and... He knew that, so he, he got complacent. He got complacent and he pulled back his forces. Well, we noticed where he didn't. 
have any kind of defenses. And that's over here. Look at this. These siege towers are moving forward with absolutely no supporting infantry, no supporting cavalry, nothing. They are vulnerable. So I look at Apollo and I, I say, let's fucking hit that thing. And he's down. He is down. And his cataphracts, man, his cataphracts are going to do way more work because these guys are shock cavalry. They are impressive, and their job is to break infantry ranks, and they do that so very well, especially if you manage to hit from the side or the rear. So I've got the majority of my units just hiding. Uh, not so much to stay hidden, but to avoid losing any men to the ballista fire. The way I like to do things is when the enemy gets close, I put a unit up to block every single access point off the wall, and I let them fight. They get surrounded, whatever. The enemy just bunches up with their siege towers, and it's a turkey shoot. You have all your range units just fire into their sides, and it's over before you know it. So here we are, sallying outside the walls. Look at that. Well, <laughs> that's the pathing for you, but it was a charge by uh, Apollo's companion cavalry. I, uh, I go for the other one to the side here, some uh, principes. Yeah, not only hitting them, but the one next to it, stopping both of those towers and forcing them to come down and fight us. Just, you know, stalling their advance, slowing them down. Apollo's probably arguably doing more damage here than I am. Uh, the Roman player notices this and sends in some quick response of cavalry to try and slow us down or drive us away. And uh, he, he succeeds in doing so. We pull off for quick retreats. But we did what we meant to do. We inflicted a couple casualties, not a lot, but it was enough to shake him up. Stop his siege towers, get more fire hours, arrows fired on them. You know, an attempt to stop some of the towers. The whole point when you're a defender, guys, is to be aggressive. Be aggressive, break the enemy's plans. Any plans they have, shatter them. And uh, the Galatians have already gained the wall here. The uh, Militia Hoplites losing decisively, fighting for their lives. These naked swordsmen, look at that, people getting tossed in the background, Jesus Christ. These uh, Militia Hoplites aren't really well versed to fight against uh, such feroce units. Feroce? Oh God, and they've also moved up their, uh, their mercenary Syrian archers just pelting away at Macedon's uh, hoplites in a spear wall. Oh, if, if nothing else, take this as a lesson to never underestimate the power of well-placed arrows. So many people neglect to bring ranged for the sake of bringing more infantry. This is why you don't do that. That whole unit hasn't even seen combat yet. And, and they lost all of their men. They have 20 dudes left. Not even. They're getting killed to the last man. And now this whole area has been lost, so Macedon's gonna have to pull back. Luckily, he's watching. He saw that, he realized <laughs> that, excuse me, he made a mistake. And uh, he's already established another front line. He's actually gonna be aggressive, too, setting up some pike infantry. Still guarding this breach. I, I mean, unaware that they can't get through. I, we didn't know either. We were so focused, Apollo and I, over there. So we didn't even know that. We couldn't even say anything because we had no idea it was happening. It was, it was a really pitched battle. So uh, these heavy pike infantry, unfortunately in melee and also getting shot in the back, they're probably not going to last very long. More pike infantry being sent in. I would... Uh, it's a valiant effort to keep Galatia back, but it is a waste of pikes putting them in melee they're so good if you can get a nice defensive line he even charged in his uh his Thessalon cavalry which is pretty good the Thessalon cavalry will destroy these naked swords that's why they're losing decisively already but uh Macedon has to be conservative with their units they already have a breach which doesn't matter too much but they have lost the walls that is a big big issue and over here the Swebby berserkers are, uh, are, uh, are they dead? They fall back? They definitely broke a bunch of units. No, here they are. 
They've uh, they've taken decent casualties, but I wouldn't even call heavy casualties. Maybe 20 men. Nabati's uh, excursions onto the walls here ended in total fucking failure. Complete death because of the aggressive defensive plays by Nico as the Swebby. Got some hex bearers in here who are taking on these eastern swordsmen. You can tell by all their screeching and ah! they're very loud. I believe that's a morale debuff to the enemy. Oh man, and uh, these these routing units are just getting slaughtered by just some arrow fire. They're desperately trying to retreat. But Macedon shield bearers that are sitting there. Also, oh, let me slow this down real fast. I I really appreciate siege defense players who assist each other. Macedon didn't have to be here. Shield bearers are a really really good unit. However, uh, Macedon committed them to watching. Oh my God! Do you see that? Oh my God! <laughs> Macedon committed them to watching their allies' uh, entry points off the wall. Working together with your allies is so important whether you're attacking or defending. So it's really refreshing to see something like that. So shout out to T-Rex and Nico for working so well together. Um, Macedon here is uh, pulling their units back and their... Is that their general? Their general's foot companions? Oh man, he's in danger. He's, he's going to lose a lot of men there. Hopefully Mastodon can, can control the situation. Over here, this situation took us by surprise. I, uh, I barely got some units into place. I'm not worried about it because I've got veteran, veteran shield warriors, and they're really good in melee. Like, really good. But uh, Galatia uh, almost got a nice flank on us, sending two siege towers over here and just dropping some men off to run the length of the wall and try to get behind us. They probably would have done some more good if they had sent another unit here to flank us because the Romans have landed on the walls. As you can tell, the fighting has gotten really rough. Uh, I had to retreat a lot of- oh god, I had to retreat a lot of my uh, heavier units from the walls because they were getting pelted by arrows, as you can see, and it feels so bad to watch. Every once in a while, I'd move up my uh, my slingers and skirmish with the archers, but as you can see, I was taking the casualties. They weren't. Um, so there was a lot of fighting going on here. I was just trying to keep one unit here uh, um, with the sole objective of keeping men out of uh, our gatehouse. That was it. I didn't care if they were losing because my slingers would move up, fire into their ranks, and fucking kill them. Same here with these... Uh, these veteran shield warriors winning decisively. They're just slaughtering these, uh, what are these, Hastati? No, these are Principes. They're slaughtering these Principes. Look at that. Oh, God. What a melee. What a melee. Over here, uh, a lot of Apollo's lighter infantry is kind of getting eaten up over time by these legionnaires. They're holding their own, don't get me wrong. These these Parthian swordsmen are doing quite well, considering that this faction really isn't all about melee. Oh, man, look at this. But uh, Rome is definitely slowly getting that, uh, that foothold on the walls that they want. They're taking their time, which is it's a worrisome strategy. Because if you take too long and you don't reinforce your troops, you are going to take ridiculous casualties and not be able to reinforce your gaps in time. However, uh, this Roman player wasn't too bad. He was being aggressive. He was sending, uh, sending in units that still weren't his bread and butter. They were just like some legionaries, not his, and principes. Wait, did he even touch his heavy legionnaires yet? I don't think he has. Oh, oh I missed it. I missed it. Apollo with his uh, uh, eastern cataphracts out here doing some work. Hitting a couple units. I'm not sure where he was. I missed that. Ah, oh, man. See, it's so hard to cover these things in real time. <laughs> but, uh... On the flank here, some more legionnaires were dropped off, and Apollo met them with his Parthian swordsmen, just keeping them in place, bringing over some archers to work on those flanks. Oh, look at that. 
already taking fire from archers. Come on. Look at that. Let me see good volley. There we go. Ooh. Just eating them up. Eating them up. They're going to keep... Even if they're more powerful than the other unit that Apollo has on the wall, because of the sheer amount of arrow fire, they're going to lose that combat. Remember that. That is like a key strategy as a defender. Missile superiority on the walls. You don't need infantry superiority. Missile superiority. And of course, uh, they keep bringing over their uh, auxiliary Syrian archers. And I'm trying, I'm trying my best, and so is Apollo, to try and inflict some casualties on those archers. But you have to remember, fucking hell. Oh, not only are they all concentrated in one spot because they're not defending walls. But they have 40 armor. The Syrian archers have 40 armor. They are no joke. So, uh, I noticed they were shooting at my men on the walls. I let them. I let them. It's fine. I have reserves. I want them to expend their ammo. I can't get to them right now. And, uh, I already know that it's gonna be a waste of my ammo. I just have to survive. That's the name of the game, is survival. Over here, uh, Apollo sent some uh, some mercenary hoplites to help cover my uh, cover my center in case I got breached. Because he sent over some legionnaires, and I wasn't sure if I was going to have to pull over another for the wall. So he was watching my back. That's what a good ally does. Macedon has reestablished a defensive line. They're taking some fire, but they're facing these archers and returning archer fire. Look at that! Oh, that is beautiful to see. Come on, fucking camera. Ah, oh, come on! Look at that. Return fire, slaughtering. Beautiful. Oh, T-Rex, it's beautiful. So these Syrian archers getting shot down by uh, fire superiority. Three units against one or two. If you focus down, you're going to inflict a lot of casualties, and that's what they're doing. Unfortunately, uh, them holding the walls, though, I believe it extends your range a little bit. I might be wrong on that. I know there's some game I play where the higher your archers are, the farther they can fire, but um, it definitely gives them an angle past armor and shields if uh, if they're not facing in front of you. So Macedon's pretty much playing a, a war of attrition here. They're holding their shield wall. Yeah, they're going to take casualties, but the enemies... Oh, 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 God. Oh, my... Oh, my God. <laughs> Yeah, they're going to take casualties, but uh, they're going to hold their ground, which is exactly what needs to be done. Things aren't looking great for Nabati over here. They just cannot get a decent foothold. And look at that. <laughs> these Swebby Berserkers are still in here murdering these Eastern Swordsmen and Axemen. Absolutely murdering them, doing what they do best. And if you guys don't know, Berserker units, they go... Oh, shit. These Nabataean swordsmen just threw a huge volley of Pila into the back of these Berserkers. And that should be a testament to these Berserkers, because they still haven't broken. But, uh... This guy's going for the Standard Bearer, too. But, uh, for those of you who don't know Berserkers, the Berserker units eventually go Berserk, and they do not follow your commands. So, it was very smart for Nico to keep them on the walls, surrounded by enemies, so they just keep murdering enemies. And, of course, his archers are doing work. He's completely secured the leftermost gate here. Completely secured it. It's, there's no threat here. He's able to redirect more troops over here. And uh, Macedon, I think, had to pull their unit out. Yeah, they pulled their unit away from here because Swebby had it under control because they had to try and maintain a defensive line. Uh, Macedon's giving more ground because, as you can see, they took some casualties, unfortunately, from the range fire. Not a lot! but still enough to make a general worry. So he pulled back, formed a new defensive line out of the range of the walls, which was smart. And he also has this intersection covered. So uh, all in all, T-Rex is playing very smart, and there's a good synergy between him and Nico. They're doing quite well. Over here, Rome has kind of slowed down on my side. They've kind of noticed that they can't really push because I have very heavy infantry. And their legionnaires are getting cut up like butter. Like butter. But they're still gunning for this gatehouse. They're sending up their uh, legionary cohorts, which are some really tough units. Like, again, 
Roman units are exceptionally good at making holes. My slingers are exceptionally good at making holes in them. But as you can see, you can see in the background there, my slingers are getting targeted by those archers. And I'm losing so many. I'm just kind of trying to eat up their fire and ignore it. Like everything told me, eventually I had to move. Because I was just taking so many casualties. They're Syrian archers, man. Like they are no joke. They're so good at what they do. Which is kill my men. But any bit of their ammo that I could make them use, I was happy about it. Oh, God, over here, murdering Apollo's archer unit. They're just too good. The Syrian archers are too good. They're like fucking light infantry at that point with 40 armor. And with that, I think, uh, yeah. Apollo's one unit of Parthian foot archers break. But he's got more. He's got two others here. And, uh... Rome's legionary cohorts have made it down into the city itself. They have actually made it in the walls, and there is now fighting in the streets. Well, it's not really a street. You know, it's... It's in the city. They're fighting in the city. These Persian hoplites are putting up a fight. But what legionaries do is they fucking cut through lines, man. They cut through lines, and that's what they're doing. Look at that shit. Ugh. These guys are just relentless. The Roman player sees that they have gotten into the walls and they're just pushing everything they have to try and break whatever units Apollo has on the walls here so they can cycle more units in. Here we go. New wave. New full wave of Roman units coming in. And uh, Apollo's resorting to using his cataphracts to break these Roman troops, which works out very well. Works out very well. On this side, uh, I see that Apollo's wall is starting to fall, and uh, I start committing my uh, veteran shield infantry over there. Uh, actually, did I see this? Is that what these guys were doing? I don't think I had noticed this yet. Like, there's a lot of smoke. I don't think I noticed that they were trying to take the gates yet. No, Apollo did. Apollo noticed that he started moving over his Persian hoplites, first to block this so the uh, legionaries didn't get down here and get a foothold. But uh, we were going to make a move on the enemy general. Because that's his general right there. He's using his general to try and burn down our gate. Very ballsy. And I, I feel like it's completely unnecessary to risk his general in that fashion. So I tell him not to worry about these guys. I'll take care of them. And uh, he pushes out with his hoplites. And just catches the enemy general. Just catches them. Gets a good charge in. Kills a couple of them. But unfortunately... Uh, the Galatian nobles retreat and enemy infantry closes in. Uh, <laughs> Apollo's hoplites would not go back inside. He told them, as you can see, he like clicked multiple times for them to go in. They wouldn't do it. So he said, you know what? I'm just going to commit out here. And these hoplites fought to the death. Oh, Lord. They fought to the death outside the walls. It was rough to watch because it was a decent unit, but... That is what happened. Over here, Nabati has all but lost any kind of stronghold they had on the walls. They have just their archers left and some uh, some ruined swords units. They're just getting slaughtered. Still, these berserkers are still at work. They're still at work slaughtering and maiming all of these eastern soldiers. And it's crazy. Never underestimate the power of berserkers who go berserk with proper covering fire. These archers trying to hit them, but their own men are in the way. Siege towers in the way. Arrow towers in the way. They're going to have a hard time taking out these berserkers using their own arrows. And Macedon has gone on the offensive. Look at that. T-Rex has gone on the offensive, sandwiching Galatian legionnaires, completely forcing them to grind to a halt. He has completely taken back this whole lost section of the city, which is really cool to see really cool and that uh, they start sending over reinforcements to our side i have had to recommit some heavy swordsmen to fight these galatian legionnaires because like i said before they hold up so well these galatian legionnaires hold up so well they are quite literally legionnaires 
and they freaking fight like it. No joke. But my veteran shields maintain the shield wall, and they start defeating them minute by minute. It was it was epic. It was an epic struggle. But uh, Galatia lost any kind of foothold they had on those walls. And over here, I've recommitted some more veteran shield warriors. Not many, 30. They're very shaken. But they're just there to kind of hold these units in place. Again, Rome has got their foothold, and they are pouring more units in. But we're just taking our time. Look at that. Look at these shots by Apollo. I think these are Principes, right? No, they're veteran legionnaires. They're getting shot to shit. Oh, look at that. They haven't even got into combat yet. And he's mopping them up. He set up a f his... I think this is his last fresh unit of Parthian Swordsmen. They're getting slaughtered by these heavier units. Um, but they're holding the wall. And they're stopping the enemy from pushing through. He's completely routed the Legionnaire on the right flank. And he's recapturing the towers. So things... I'm not going to say things are looking great. We know what we're doing. And we're hanging on over here. But Rome, man, Rome just has some strong units. Rome just has some strong units. Look at that. Taking fire. And they still have plenty of friggin' reserves. Look at this. Veteran legionnaires. Veteran legionnaires. Veteran legionnaires. All with chevrons, by the way. So they have increased attack and morale. I think defense, too, depending on how high it is. Another one. They're just sending up a ram. Why the fuck not? <laughs> sending up a ram. More legionnaires. They, they have plenty of reserves. Galatia has their uh, noble cavalry over here. They are just sending the last of what they have at the walls. And they're still slaughtering my slingers. My poor slingers who are trying to maintain control on the wall are taking so many arrows to the face. That's one of my biggest fears as a, defending, a defender. A defending player, you have to take care of your ranged. It literally is the difference between life and death. He's trying to uh, uh, commit as many casualties to those legionnaires as possible. Those slingers got 119 kills. That's not bad for slingers. You know, against heavy infantry. This isn't like early game. They're going against heavy infantry. And they're doing really well. Macedon has all but routed Galatia. Galatia has absolutely nothing left. T-Rex has completely cut through them. This battle is over. There is no way in hell that Galatia can take these walls. Macedon has he upheld their part of the city and their part of the defensive pact. And over here, Nabati attempting to make a final push with some noble swordsmen. Not enough. These Wodenad spears who haven't had the fight the whole time due to Nico systematically keeping the men on the walls are uh, in their little shield wall here and they are just eating up the enemy as they come through. This is it. Nabati has... Some heavy archers they're going to put on the walls. I don't know if they have any ammo left. If they do, they'll probably incur some heavy casualties. But uh, Nico has his own archers and plenty of infantry to push after them. So I'm going to go ahead and call it for Nabati there. There's really nothing else they can do. Everything now is over here. Oh, <laughs> well, we also we placed some traps. And we agreed that we would use this pathway to move. You know what I mean? So in case that this side, because we fully expected this side to get breached, it didn't. And as T-Rex sent his reinforcements, he forgot there were traps here. And he sent his general, his lucky fucking general, and the cav unit through here. And they got ate up by those, uh, by those traps. So at this point, the gates are breached, and uh, the Roman players are sending in their auxiliary Syrian archers against uh, Apollo's mercenary hoplites. It's literally just to throw bodies at us, exhaust our men, make them tired, keep us in combat. So when he sends in his heavier units, they are ready to go. Legionnaires still fighting on the wall here. My handful of veteran shield warriors barely holding on, slowly getting pushed back, but keeping those Romans away from that gate. I mean, I guess technically they could go through there. And, uh, 
the other Roman player, very, very smart of him, brought his archers to bear so he could shoot through this opening into our uh, hoplites. But I don't think they're going to meet with much headway because there's just too much in their way. And they're targeting my slingers. They know what I'm doing. They know I'm cycling slinger... What the hell? They know I'm cycling slinger units over here to try and kill as many of their men on the wall as possible. But, oh, God. It's just I'm getting slaughtered. The only reason why I don't run away is because I know that they're using up their arrows on my ranged. And I'd rather that than my infantry at this stage of the game. Because I still have plenty of reserves. This unit has not been in combat. This unit has not been in combat. This unit has not been in combat. This unit has barely been in combat. Like, my units were good. I, I kept them safe and spread out. Uh, and behind the wall so there was no angle that their archers could hit me. The few units I put up there got killed, but... Ah, these slingers are doing their job. 118 kills. Just slamming into the side of these legionnaires. And Rome... Rome is bringing the full brunts. Like, they are bringing up their reserves. They are not done with this city. They are still full of morale. They know that as attackers, they will take casualties. They know they're wearing us down, and they know we're spread out thin. Now what they're trying to do is establish a foothold before our reinforcements arrive from the other side of the city. As you can see, they're marching over here. Don't want them to run, because your men will be exhausted. But they'll be marching over here soon. Not quite yet, because they're still dealing with Nabati. Who, as their heavy archers in melee, yeah, they're, uh, they're out, of, uh, out of ammo. They're just fighting at this point. Keeping our allies' units tied up. And uh, Nabatee's general. N uh, Nabatean noble cavalry. They look kind of cool. They look cool for Sassanids. I'm sorry, it's a crusader in me. Pretty cool. Coming over to do what little they can. I suppose if there was a breach in the gate sometime soon, they could push through. But we'll see if that happens. So, uh, the Syrian archers lay dead at Apollo's hoplites' feet. And, uh, they just kind of have a staring contest here. Probably yelling at each other, spitting, <laughs> insulting. You know, things you do when your enemy is standing ten feet from you. And, uh, I've committed some more of my veteran shields on the wall because Apollo's Parthian swordsmen just were not able to stand up to these heavy legionnaires in prolonged combat. And as you can see, they're slowly gaining ground. Legionnaires have to give it because this not tired, not exhausted, and well-trained infantry force is advancing and killing them in this confined space on the walls. You can see it. It's a visible. You can see my men inching forward and cutting through these legionnaires. It's a beautiful thing to watch as a defender. And, uh... Some more veteran legionnaires here who are murdering the remnants of my veteran shield warriors who have been here for so long. Like, they've been holding here for so long. What the fuck? What are you doing? Cheering from back there. It's right, guys. You got it. Keep fighting. I got your back. They're like, get up here, Johnson. <laughs> what a coward. What the fuck, Johnson? What's your shit in order? Oh, this is... Ah, uh, this is a feel bad. Roman troops throwing their, uh, throwing their pila down on my slingers. I'm trying to get an angle to toss right into their backs. But, uh, these, these pila are just firing down into my men. I'm telling you, man, any kind of unit on the wall that has any range capability is a danger to the defenders. And, uh, just here, Apollo sees that my, sh my sword infantry is breaking. And he starts setting up some Parthian foot archers to engage those Romans. I tell them just to hold them in place. Doesn't matter if we win it. Just need to hold them in place. Oh! Johnson's trying to make a name for himself. Oh, fuck! Oh, God! Oh, my God! Poor Johnson! Oh, oh, no! Oh, fuck's sake! Well, I guess, I guess he went out like a soldier, you know? He made up for it. He made up for just standing there while his, uh, while his allies got murdered. <laughs> that was aggressive. I have never seen a Roman soldier be so fucking aggressive.
These Syrian archers up here are just getting slaughtered. They're literally just putting bodies up here to get us tired before the final wave. Because all they have is some reserve uh, veteran legionnaires to send up on the wall. <laughs> some catapult crew. I don't. They don't even have ammo anymore. Yeah, they're out. And a bunch of cavalry. I guess they could dismount and send in, but... I don't know. As of right now, the balance of power is quite in our favor. Um, it's not quite a victory for us yet. They do have heavy units that, if they position them properly, would beat us. But I don't know. I don't know if they're going to be able to do that. Noble Horse Cavalry have been dismounted. Galatia is attempting to take the walls using their Noble Horse. And uh, they're surrounding my unit up here. That's actually quite smart of them. Look at that. Another push by Rome to try and take the gates. Now, they're doing something that I, I, I covered this in my last video. I really hate this. It's so annoying. People will send units in melee against your hoplite wall or something. And then, look, he's doing it now. Force click. Oh, no, they're breaking. Force click their unit on the other side. No, he is doing it. Yeah. Click, 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 click. So you just walk through your unit. And the game, not understanding that its mechanics are being abused, register that as a uh, as like a flanked unit. So now Apollo's hoplites are quote unquote flanked, and these guys are an entity fighting, you know, doing the flanking. That's garbage. If you do this as a player, I'm gonna call you out on it. It's absolute garbage. You shouldn't do it. It's trying to exploit the game for what it is. You know what I mean? Don't do that. It's shitty. On the walls, these uh, veteran legionnaires, they're just kind of standing there. They're bunched in. Um, but my veteran shield warriors are losing decisively. They've been in combat far too long. And uh, they're down to 35 men. These legionnaires know it. Oh, God. They're starting to slaughter them. Uh, Apollo with his very tired unit that's been holding the wall the, almost the whole match. 19 men. 19 Parthian swordsmen left. Cheering on their Iberian brothers. And uh, these Romans break, and the uh, Hoplite wall is reestablished. And uh, here, Apollo moved up his elephants with their with their arrows, their bows and arrows, kind of taking shots at this uh, Galatian uh, noble horse. They're they're already getting slaughtered by this fresh unit of infantry, but it doesn't hurt to mop them up, you know. Less men on the walls are better. And uh, Apollo, I believe, yeah using uh, his noble horse archers, his general, uh, to fire into the flanks of these men on the wall, getting some good hits. Uh, the violent collapses. Getting some good hits on the enemy. And uh, I saw these uh, legionnaires kind of try and move this way, so I reinforced the entrance with some of my nobles, my heaviest units. I've just put them in the, in the uh, front now. Because it is time, it is time to go on an aggressive, aggressive defense to try and take back the walls. Because <clears throat> the last thing we want is uh, fresh Roman legionnaires to take the walls and start tossing Pila down at our men. But uh, Rome knows that they're coming to the end here. Unless they do something drastic, they are going to fail this attack. And over here... Macedon is marching reinforcements over. Oh, oh, sprinting some of them. Poor shield bearers. What? Last time I saw this, they were walking. All right, well, I guess he's sprinting them over. It's kind of deadly dangerous. Uh, Nico marching his uh, Swebby Wodenaz spears. You know, they're chilling. These guys, they don't worry about it. You know what I mean? They can run a bit. They, they came to work wearing their pajamas. And you know, they're comfy. Yeah. You know? They're fast. What the hell? Spearmen wearing pajamas. That's what I know the barbarians for. They're flashy pajamas. Don't underestimate them. They, uh, they're actually quite scary. And uh, my general is still here in the rear. I haven't really had to use them, but I've lost so many men um, from, from those archers. It's such a feel bad, dude. When you're, when you're a general or when your heaviest units don't even get into combat yet. And they get whittled down by archers. 
So, uh, up here... What unit is this? Oh, these are my Lusitani nobles. I send them in to try and start reclaiming the walls. I, I'm, I'm attempt- Oh my god, I fucking- I just want a good view! Just give me a good view! Come in! C come in! Alright, whatever. I'm attempting to regain the walls here and, uh... These Romans are starting to break. That's it, these nobles cut them down. Excellently done. At this point, uh, Apollo is quite tired of them exploiting. <sighs> this fucking guy. So, these are fucking his war elephants. He got tired of them exploiting the, like, clicking through my men. So he sent the elephants to absolutely murder them. And then he tried to go out the gate to pursue them, because that would have been... That would have spelled de Oh, shit. These pilot throws. That would have spelled death for a lot of these infantrymen. However, they're just getting shot by Pila and archers, and they're starting to get mad. These Indian war elephants are starting to get angry. And what do Indian war elephants do when they get angry? They go out of control. I want you to look at this slinger unit. You see this slinger unit and this slinger unit? 112, right? And 101. 112, 101. So now these units have gone out of control. They are running through my heavy infantry. Murdering them. Look at it. They're just fucking going crazy. Oh my god, look at this. Look at this! Look at this! Apollo, what the fuck? I lost all my slingers. All of them. See all this? This isn't from ar archer fire. This isn't from arrows. This is from fucking Apollo's elephants. He stomped all my slingers into the fucking ground. They're flat. These men are flattened. Never bring war elephants again, Apollo. Never. If you ever play with me and bring elephants, I swear, I'm just gonna fucking give up. What are you cheering for? You just killed my men! You guys didn't even do anything. Get the fuck out of here. So by this time, Macedon's reinforcements have arrived, and uh, the Romans, still using their turd exploit, now just so desperate and without any kind of honor, just trying to click their way through and flank us. That is resulting in exactly what it should. They are being absolutely slaughtered. The fight for this gate is being lost. Whatever kind of advantage they might have had or might have been able to pull off, they have lost it. They think that they're getting a flank here, but all that's doing is opening up their flank to, uh, to our forces here. I believe I had some nobles on the way somewhere. I don't know where they are. I know I had a unit on the way. Oh yeah, it was no, it wasn't me. It was um, <laughs> it was Apollo having to reform his oplites. They're taking their time to come down the stairs. Here they come, charge into their backs, get some nice little stabby stabs. Now the Romans are flanked, and of course these guys are all you know back to back. They're fine. Oh, 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 go get them, get them, yeah! Roman filth. Oh, man. This Parthian just came to stare him in the eyes while he died. <laughs> Bali, you men are ruthless. And at this point, this is the uh, army losses effect. All these units, even though, like, most of them are full health, are wavering. Very shaken from the army losses. They're probably not going to last very long. Even the general. General is just sitting here like... My god, when I get back, I'm gonna get court-martialed. <laughs> I've gotten so many bloody men killed, I haven't even taken the fucking walls. Oh Christ, what will Caesar say? What will the Senate say? You're gonna get thrown from the tapir rock. So these Romans have been left behind by their fleeing general. <coughs> you came and see him off in the distance. And the victorious forces are sallying out. Look at that! Yeah, I just took a screenshot. It looked so good, I just took a screenshot. <laughs> there they go. There they go. 
Well, that is it for these Romans. Completely and totally broken. That is it. That was the defense of Athens. And my god, was it beautiful. Excellent tactics by both Nico and T-Rex. And pretty good by Apollo and I. If I do uh, say so myself. I had to stretch there. This was a long one. This was a long one. And now you can see, uh, you can see some of the stats here. It's myself. I am Dad Swick. <laughs> got, uh, got the most kills. 2,171. That's really due to my swordsman. 203 kills. 188. 210. 396. 330. Veteran shield warriors, no joke. Ever come across them, either try to flank them or shoot them to bits. And uh, T-Rex, his, uh, his shield bearers did a lot of killing. 244, 457 by the shield bearers. 216. And uh, archers did pretty well. His his general and his cavalry did very well as well. Apollo, his, uh, his general did pretty well. Cataracts did all right. I'm not even fucking. I'm not even gonna address this. Archers did good jobs. Mercenary hoplites did good. Parthian swordsman could have done better. One of them did pretty well. And Nico, his uh, <laughs> his general <laughs> got like one kill. Just you know, just so he could go home and say he murdered somebody. The berserkers put in work. 166, 302. Let me remind you, that's an 80 man unit. 302, 182. These guys went man for man. 84. 154, 286, 145, 62, and the archers all got kills in the hundreds. Very good on Nico. And our opponents, uh, Cloudwolf with Galatia, their legionnaires did pretty well. Their archers did all right. Catapult did quite well. Uh, one of the enemy Roman players, Balian. Um, archers, fucking hated his archers, did very well. Legionnaires didn't do very well. Mostly because they got stuck on the walls. This veteran legionnaires did well. And the regular Regionaires did well. But they got stuck on the walls getting shot to shit. Uh, Nabati, Archers did pretty well, but the rest of our units just got absolutely fucked. Um, Noble Swordsman did alright. Laconian, the other Roman player. Their Archers did okay. Their Legionary Cohort, one of them did very well. And uh, most of their veteran Legionnaires did well. But yeah, so you can see the stats yourself. Uh, it was quite a battle. Well fought to all parties involved. I loved it. I really did. So, thank you, absolutely everyone, for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you already did know, my name is Mr. Brunswick, and I will be sitting right here at my computer thinking of the next video and or stream for you guys. And I will see you next time. Farewell, my friends, and goodbye.